Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Good to see you guys. It's Pillow here. So today I was browsing on Facebook and I saw my friend asking for a recommendation on, you know, what kind of stocks to buy, right? So he decided to buy Intel, Delta, and General Electric. So I was like, you know, yeah, let me look up these uh, stocks and uh, see how they perform. So here are the following charts. So number one, here's a chart for Intel, right? As you guys can probably see, it went all the way up to about $74, $75 uh, back in 2000. And then it dropped all the way down to $17.30. And afterwards, it kind of just um, kind of hover around like this price point, right? Uh, between $17 and you know $25. Uh, for a really really long time for about like 13 years and finally I mean the recent years yeah it, it jumped but what if this happens again you know like I mean this just looks sort of unsafe to me and um, the return is just kind of unstable right so let's take a look at Delta stock chart so I'm looking at the maximum for all of them and as you guys can probably see uh, back here, it kind of stay around the same price as well, didn't move much. And once it jumped um, to about $49.50 and it kind of hover around that price point for a really, really, really long time too because ever since 2014 to 2019, you know, it's like $57 and uh, $49. That's not too much of a change, right? It didn't really go up that much. And it recently dropped by a lot. So to me, this doesn't look like a sound investment. And let's take a look at General Electric stock, uh, looking at the maximum. So General Electric actually has been on a downhill slope. Look at that. It's just been going downhill since 2000 and never came back up and never came back up to uh, meet the height of uh, $58 and 63 cents so I recommended to my friend right I was like hey why don't you look at you know some of the ETFs uh, especially QQQ I mean let's take a look at the chart of QQQ right look at that look at how much better this looks I mean it's just like a steady uh, there's like a little drop right here, but it's like a steady upward slope. I mean, this is the, the kind of stock or ETF that you guys want to be buying because it's, it's very stable. You know, it's very constant. It's very uh, predictable. It just keeps going up and up. There's no major like shot up and major drops. Um, so this is something that I would definitely recommend to everybody and that's buying the ETF. Um, so QQQ is actually the first one I would recommend. I mean, don't just take my words for it, right? I mean, like, how many of these, you know, uh, stock gurus and these YouTubers were promising you guys, oh, you guys are going to be making this much money if you guys subscribe to my course, if you guys do this, do that. I mean, I have actually subscribed to one or two of them before and you know I went through the webinars, I went through the training videos and some of them just seems way too complicated and you know after an hour watching and I still don't know what they talk about like I had no idea like what they talk about it just seemed like a, a bunch of you know fillers, a bunch of garbage right so let me show you guys uh, why QQQ is a sound investment so if you guys actually um, click into it and uh, if you guys go all the way to performance right here now this show you uh, the performance for the past 10 years that means if you guys just left your money in this ETF every year it would have grew by 20.45% 20.45% now that is a good investment right there considering that you guys didn't have to do anything at all all you had to do was just leave the money in this ETF and every year it would have been compounded by 20.45% so QQQ does have a yearly expense ratio right so uh, let's say you guys make 
20.45%, right? And then we just have to minus that um, 20.45. So if we minus the expense, right? The cost for owning the CTF, it will still be 20.25% yearly gain after expense. I mean, what do you guys think about this? I mean, to me, I mean, like, I, I think it's crazy that anybody is not buying these uh, ETFs because um, this is like a guaranteed return right here. Um, 20% every year, I would love that. I wish I had, had knew this uh, sooner, you know, I was buying all these penny stocks, I was buying all these, you know, uh, stocks, you know, below $10 and I actually lost a lot of money because they lack the volatility, you know, a lot of times uh, the stock price just gets stuck at, at a certain price for even like a couple months. It, it never, never moves. I wish I knew this sooner, but here you guys go. Hopefully uh, with this tip, um, you know, you guys can look into this and uh, start making money in the stock market and stop subscribing to all these fake gurus, all these subscription services. I think they are all a big waste of money. So let's do the quick math here, right? Just 10 years ago, you guys had just $1,000 to invest into this ETF right here, which you guys can see right here, principal $1,000, and we give it 10 years to grow. Uh, interest rate is at 20.25 um, because it's 20.45 minus the 0.20% uh, yearly expense ratio, which come out to 20.25 we would be at $6,321 right now. So if you guys had just one more zero here, which is $10,000 to begin with, you guys would have been at $63,000 compared to you know a lot of people that are buying these junk stocks, they're losing money and they keep throwing more money uh, you know, into these like junk stocks. Uh, which you know doesn't really make sense to me and there's it's almost like gambling right so uh, hopefully with this knowledge right here you, you guys can kind of eliminate that aspect you know like not gamble into buying stocks but buying ETFs that has demonstrated a, a proven uh, return for the past 10 years now QQQ being one of the best ETFs that anybody could have bought uh, in the past 10 years it's definitely my top ETF it's something that I have been buying every single day every single week every single month but for some reason you know you guys don't like QQQ for just some reason at all right you guys are looking for some kind of alternative um, the second ETF that I would recommend to you guys would be IWF so here's IWF guys um, very simple all you guys have to do just go to Yahoo Finance and look under performance uh, and you guys can see the return for the you know last 10 years which is 17% so slightly lower than QQQ uh, I'm not gonna go into the details of you know doing the calculation and show you guys what your returns uh, would be uh, hopefully you guys can do that on your own but yeah this will be my second recommendation if you guys are looking to buy ETF and if you guys look into the expense ratio for IWF so it's slightly just slightly lower than QQQ by 0.01% uh, which is sitting at 0.19% um, as well as it has a distribution yield uh, that means you guys will be getting dividend on an annual basis which you guys will be getting 0.81% so if you guys actually think about it that actually covers the expense ratio right and actually you guys are making a little bit more than what you guys have to pay so therefore I think this is also another sound investment definitely recommend that you guys look into this now the last ETF that I want to recommend to you guys it's a little bit weaker on the performance side however it is great for people that likes to build a dividend portfolio because definitely the distribution yield is a lot stronger than the first two ETF that I have recommended to you guys and that would be uh, so SPY for sure 
So if you guys actually take a look at the 10 year uh, performance, it's actually at 13.84, so uh, a lot lower than you know the first two ETFs. And let's take a look at the expense ratio. This one actually has the lowest expense ratio out of the three. Um, it's only at point. 0.9% as well as it has a super high distribution yield which is at 1.75% so this is great for people that likes to build a dividend portfolio so if you guys actually look at the chart for max right so uh, I guess the CTF has been around since 1993 so it looks a lot better than maybe General Electric or Intel in my perspective however you know IWF, look at this, IWF and QQQ, I think in my perspective, looks way better than SPY. So I would definitely recommend everyone to look into these three ETFs, especially if you guys uh, have been losing money in the stock market, you guys have not been successful, you guys are sick and tired of all these fake trading gurus these uh, like mentorships and also these subscriptions that you guys purchase do what i am doing uh, i'm mostly trading qqq or tqqq which is a triple index of qqq it moves at three times the price movement and also i trade a lot of options on that uh, maybe i can show you guys how i do it in my next video so if you guys have any questions concerns feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know okay and i will see you guys next time